Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for November 21st, 25th, 2020. November 25th, 2020, the eve of Thanksgiving. Oh my goodness, we had quite a rally yesterday, and those bulls were pushing hard. It was a rather broad-based rally with financials and, and energies and consumer staples really pushing hard. So what what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink? Let's settle into our office chairs and let's get ready for the hump day edition of the morning market prep video. So this morning, everyone, I apologize. I'm going to talk a little bit fast, maybe here. Um, it might be a little bit shorter video. I was recording this video once before, and I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, I had a major computer blink, and uh, well, I had to start over. So. Taking a look here at the market, if we take a look at the Dow, there's one thing that is undeniable. The bulls remain in control here. Overall, a really, really strong trend, breaking out yesterday to a new 30,000 record. Now, that was real important for those institutions to achieve that. Um, it was even reported on CNBC um, yesterday that topping 30,000 will now likely draw in, from those headlines alone, draw in more investors into the market. Those folks thinking, oh my gosh, I'm missing out. I got to hurry up and get in. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. Now that can mean a couple of things. That could mean that we get a, um, a you know, more of a upside surge here in the market. But one of the things we have to consider is that we are quite extended here in um, a lot of these charts. If you take a look, a lot of the financials, the energies and things like that, that really contributed to yesterday's rally, they are almost in parable patterns in their charts. So be really, really careful. It wouldn't be at all a surprise to see a little bit of profit taking. And if not today, you know, sometime over the next um, a week or so, we could see that little bit of profit taking wave coming in. Also keep in mind everyone that as we head into the holiday, although 2020 has been completely atypical, um, it, it's pretty normal to see uh, volumes in the market really begin to shrink quickly. And particularly here right on the eve of the holiday, a lot of traders will be heading out for their holiday plans. Those trading floors will clear out. Folks will be shutting off their computers, getting in their cars heading to the airport. So just keep in mind, volumes can drop pretty quickly. And what that sometimes means is a very, very choppy um, algorithmic, institutional algorithmic driven uh, back and forth um, action in the market. That can move, that can happen today. It can, um, the short session on Friday, it's very, very likely. And it wouldn't even be a surprise to see a um, light volume day on Monday as everyone will be distracted by the Cyber Monday deals out there. So kind of keep that in mind um, as um, you watch uh, carefully um, or think carefully about the risk that you carry forward into the holiday. Take a look at the technicals here in the chart and you can see that we're a long ways away from our 50 day moving average. And that gives me a little bit of concern that we might be overheating here in the short term. Certainly lots of warm and fuzzy bullishness in here, tremendous speculation on recovery, even though those COVID numbers continue to rise around the country and, and restrictions, business restrictions are getting heavier and heavier. But right now we're choosing to ignore that and we're just rushing into everything. And there, there doesn't seem to be, this is a concern for me, there doesn't seem to be a, a price too high that people are willing to pay to chase into those trades. That always gives me that little bit of pause that a, that a, um, a substantial pullback could be on the way at any time. So be careful and stay focused um, in these charts. Um, so watch that close. Let's take a quick look at the SPY. SPY also uh, moving up. Didn't have that energy yesterday to quite a break out to that new record high, but came really, really close. And you can see we're pushing up here this morning. A little bit of pause maybe as we wait for a big day of data, but holding up very, very strong. And once again, I just want to mention that even a pullback into this price support level could be a pretty painful pullback. Um, so if those profit takers do come in, make sure you're prepared for that and have a plan to protect your capital and the profits that 
you've made in these trades. Um, oftentimes when I get these big rallies straight into new record highs or price resistance, I'm actually reducing. And that's what I did yesterday. I started closing trades, uh, taking profits. So I really don't have to worry about it heading into the holiday. Watch this closely as um, this may take some time yet for that 50 day moving average to catch up. So just keep that in mind. The NASDAQ yesterday um, made a nice little move. Although we struggled, we seem to be struggling to find uh, buyers for the big giant techs. We had enough of those techs moving up yesterday to break this little downtrend that I've been mentioning here in the chart and popping through. Now the critical element after popping through there is proof that we can hold. If we can hold that level of support, then the NASDAQ may re-engage and start helping in the lead of the market here to the upside. We will also want to notice that we're that 50 day moving average has still got a long ways to go and we can't rule out that possibility that we may either consolidate or pull back to test those averages. Um, so watch that closely. Um, the more we stretch out, the more we kind of go parabolic in some of these stocks, the bigger and bigger chances that we have of that profit taking wave coming in. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM, I got to tell you, has been really, really impressive, pushing up through these resistance highs, holding that as support and really starting to show some leadership here in the market. Um, it, it's been the underloved index for so, so long. Um, it's almost a surprise to see us up here, but here we are, the Russell looking really, really good. And those energies and financials doing an amazing job of reversing from the, the, their lows. I would expect some rest or pullback in those sectors here soon, but let's keep an eye on this. IWM could be one of the next leading indexes for the market. Let's take a look at the VIX here real quick. That VIX finally, look at this, we finally broke down and closed below the 500 day moving average. That's nice to see. We're still holding above a 20 handle in that chart. And if we were to get that selling wave to come in here or profit taking wave, we could see that push right back up above that 500 day. But right now let's hold on to the hope that we're gonna use that now as price resistance, that we're not gonna push back up there and break back through. Watch that closely. It's kind of nice to see that happening. Still amazing to me that we are at 20 handles setting new record highs. Um, just shows us the potential danger of the whips that could occur in this market. But, and we, it means we really have to stay on our toes as traders, but it's good news to see that we're finally starting to calm a little tiny bit in that volatility. Let's take a look at um, um, T2122. Now, I gotta tell you, this one gives me probably the biggest concern right now, and it has for some time. Um, we, we continue to remain very, very elevated here in T2122. And although we, we've shown periods of time where we can hold up here, we had periods where we held above up here for a long time, held up, held up, um, but we eventually succumb to that selling wave. So kind of keep that in mind. We're extremely elevated in T2122. We have a lot of stocks looking very, very parabolic in their current moves, short-term moves, I should say. So just keep in mind that it would not be a surprise if we start to see a little bit of pullback, some profit taking coming in, particularly after hitting that 30,000 uh, target that can sometimes also act as a natural resistance level in the chart so watch that close now we don't necessarily have to have a collapse or a major sell-off or anything like that we could just go into more of a little corrective consolidation and pull this back but just keep in mind it's it's coming um, when it'll happen I don't know but we'll want to be prepared for it let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today and our economic calendar is oh my gosh um they decided to take today and just toss everything at us all at the same time and maybe they're hoping that so many traders are gone that nobody will notice but 
we'll have to watch and wait and see on these. We've got durable goods orders, GDP, international trading goods, jobless claims, new home sales, consumer sentiment, personal incomes and outlays. And that doesn't finish the day up. We still have the EIA petroleum status report. We have the natural gas report and we have FOMC minutes at 2 p.m. this afternoon. So a crazy day of um, economic data that um, several of these are potentially market moving um, reports. So watch that closely. We could get a lot of whippy price action, whipsaws, those kind of things, um, intraday reversals as these data points come out. And probably these will be these will be the real important ones um, prior to the market open that we'll want to pay attention to. Could really change things, um, shift things on a, on a dime. So watch that closely um, as all of these reports come out today. On the um, earnings calendar, we have a lighter day on the earnings calendar with not honestly not a whole Whole lot in there to move us around but there are a couple of notables that, uh, that I want to bring up uh, John Deere um, is reporting today John Deere has been holding up very very strong in this beautiful trend and one of the things I, I got to say about John Deere is notice how deliberate the price action is while the market has been extremely volatile whipping up whipping down whipping up whipping down John Deere has just been nice and steady um, got that tractor in low gear and it is just pulling and chugging up the hill um, nice and strong and we're seeing that in other um, heavy equipment um, stocks as well so John Deere looking very very good in this upside trend reporting today and it looks like we're popping up this morning so looking strong here on that front take a look at FRO this is the only other notable I have for today looks like fro is gapping down this morning here's one of those examples of what i was talking about uh, about these parabolic moves it's wonderful to see these stocks coming up fro these energy stocks coming up out of these bottoms showing that recovery breaking those downtrends that's a beautiful thing but when we start moving up in rallies like this we have to expect some profit taking some pullback to come in the market um, relatively soon so watch that closely and we see a lot of stocks in that pattern right now where they're just shot up so much uh, profit taking is likely to happen at any time so just stay focused on that and be careful not to chase let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you wouldn't mind doing me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos then please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos and then also if you could do me a favor if you feel like the video was worthy make sure and click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment comment um, and share this video out on your social uh, media platform it helps us to continue to go, to grow and remember besides the morning market prep um, there is I've placed a ton of free education here on um, the channel so please take advantage of that um, uh, my desire here with this channel is to help people do a better job with their trading and I can tell you when I started doing um, this kind of market evaluation every morning to kind of set my set my focus for the day without getting involved in the hype or the drama that you might see in the news it helped me tremendously and if you if you guys find that help please please feel um, feel free to share that with other folks out there and by the way we're getting very very close to 16,000 subscribers thank you so much um, I appreciate that a lot let's take a look to um, some of these stocks that are setting up there's quite a few out there and a few of them that I, I gotta say have probably moved a little bit too far and we'll want to pay attention to um, uh, because they're they're doing beautifully well but could um, get a substantial pullback. One of those I want to mention is X. As you guys know, I was mentioning X in the morning prep videos. Um, this beautiful setup. Yesterday, that thing took off like a rocket to the upside, uh, popping into some resistance in the chart. Now, this is one of those beautiful charts that um, has just made that big, strong move and probably has gone a little bit too parabolic 
in the short term. So you want to watch this. If this rests or consolidates, holds this support area up here, that would be fantastic. Don't be too surprised if it does need to dance around up here, maybe even coming back to the trend here eventually before it moves on up. But X might be something you want to put on your list and watch that carefully. We saw a lot of these, and, and I mentioned this one yesterday. I mentioned Alcoa yesterday. There's that move again where we're just getting that appearance of just a little bit too parabolic in these charts, watch for some kind of rest or pullback in those charts uh, before you um, rush into those. Other places that I think are a much better condition, take a look at the consumer staples area, XLY, looking very, very good. Now we're trying to break some resistance here in this chart, but we have a nice constructive pattern here, as you can see. Any rest consolidation in here just sets up more of that opportunity to the upside. Keep a close eye on some of those consumer staples really looking good at the moment. Take a look at Boot. Boot, very good. Boot Barn holding up nicely. A lot of the retailers doing a great job here um, just recently, looking very, very strong. Breaking this price resistance, holding up up here. Um, don't be too surprised just because the market's elevation that we need to rest a little bit more. But keep an eye on that boot looking strong, um, holding up very, very strong. Take a look at this stock YNDX. YNDX breaking this downtrend in the chart, holding support, holding in here, and looking good. And notice that yesterday it popped and moved higher, trying to move on up. So keep a close eye on that. If that can rest in here maybe, set up that opportunity to move on higher could be a great opportunity. Keep an eye on that one. Take a look at ICLN. Now, ICLN has been moving up. And one of the reasons this has really been strong is um, uh, Biden presidency is likely to be much more favorable um, to some of these areas. And you can see looking uh, pretty strong here in this chart. So keep an eye on this. May need a little bit of rest or pullback in here. Um, to uh, come back and test trend, but watch that closely for that next opportunity. Could be good upside in that chart. Um, take a look at Apple. Now, Apple has, this was one of those that I was mentioning, the big techs were struggling yesterday to find some buyers. It did find some buyers here in Apple. Notice that downtrend that we have going on here and this failure that we're seeing in this chart. A little bit of a concern right now. And as we watch this, we're, we notice right in here, whoops, sorry, that's a two day, that we're setting right on the edge of the cliff there on that 50 day moving average. Now I'd hate to say um, uh, Apple is turning into a short, but it certainly could be that case. If we fail here, let's watch that closely. Apple may be running into some problems. We're gonna need to get back above that down trend and hold if this is going to come back around. So keep a close eye on that. Apple may be struggling here just a little bit. Take a look at some of these um, other metal stocks like FCX, SCCO. Um, copper has been very, very strong. Whoops. Has been very, very strong here recently. I think they need a rest or pullback, but watch those closely. Um, very, very strong stocks and I'm um, showing lots and lots of energy to the upside. So there's a few things for you to consider. Obviously, I'm not gonna be uh, buying today. I'm, I'm not in the buying mood heading into a holiday. I'm gonna be more um, concerned about uh, protecting my capital heading into the holiday. But I wanna wish you all a fantastic day. And more importantly, I wanna wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving. And I wanna remind everyone that although we've had a challenging year this year, we still live in the greatest country on the planet. Um, we just we just have so much to be thankful for. And um, please keep in mind when you sit down for that Thanksgiving dinner, um, sit down with family, please remember um, those folks that are still out there on the front line, those folks in the military that won't be with their families out there protecting us, those um, police officers and firefighters, um, our first line responders out there doing their job on our day off uh, protecting us. And then of course, please, please remember the frontline battle that all of our healthcare professionals are having to deal with right now. While um, 
we might be sitting down to a, a great meal, they are fighting a tremendous battle with unbelievable numbers of folks in the hospital uh, and uh, challenging the system. So please remember those folks. Remember uh, those uh, individuals out there protecting us. I want to wish you all the very, very, very best. Have a great Thanksgiving, and I will see you right back here Monday morning. It's unlikely I will do a video on Friday. Y'all take care. Have a good one.